Now to get to the templates, you can go up to the file menu and choose open template and the shortcut is shift apple o. These are all the folders on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you have all the templates. So if I click on this group here you get these templates and so on and so on. If I scroll down you'll see that there'll be a folder with motion template on it and it says underneath MT free templates. If I select that folder you'll see the six free templates on the right hand side. So if I select one of these I'll go for the second one. The first thing you get is a preview on the right hand side and it's telling you it's PAL. I can actually go up to the top where it says show and select PAL and since all of these are PAL they'll all stay but if I was to switch to NTSC they'll all disappear. So I'll leave that on PAL. You can either double click this and it'll open or you can select it and then click on open template but I'm a big one for double clicking so I'm just going to double click this template and there's the template. The first thing you really want to do is click and drag the playhead along so there's the play area at the bottom or the scrubber bar you can click and drag and see what this template does so it's got three drop zones whenever you see these arrows with these screens these are drop zones these are waiting for you to drop something on them that would be a movie or a graphic and obviously you've got some text here you can replace as well. You can also see there's some reflections going on. It's a good idea to open up the layers window to see what's going on with these templates. So you can either hit F5 on your keyboard or you can come up to where it says project at the top and this project window is a layers window very similar to Photoshop and you can come down here and look to see what's in this template. I've always found the best way to do this is to turn things on and off. So if you put the playhead somewhere in the middle so everything's on screen and then come up to the layers window and then start turning the ticks off. These are like folders whenever you see these icons here they call them groups but they're like folders so if I turn this group off it will turn off everything inside it which will be all the text. This says text and there's three text layers so if I turn this off all the texture disappear and it does. Then there's another group called screens I'll turn that off and you can see everything disappears with this one. So I'll leave that on and then come down and find out what's in here. So I've got three groups with inside this group and within those is a drop zone with a clone. Now a drop zone is waiting for you to drop something on it and if you've cloned that layer when you replace the drop zone it will also replace the clone. You don't have to have clones, you could actually have separate drop zones and have a different movie or graphic in the reflection. 